in this video i will show you how to totally erase whatever data or whatever personal data you have saved and installed on your internal memory of your tablet before proceeding doing this process you need to take out your micro sd card just in case you don't want to erase whatever stuff on your sd card we can now boot up to the recovery system okay let's start with volume down button and power button when it vibrates you need to let go the power button there you go and then keep pressing the volume down button and then let it go now we're inside the uh, recovery system the first thing that we need to do is scroll down to the uh, wipe menu now to use this system uh, you can scroll using the uh, volume down or up button to select you can uh, use the power button as action button or as select button there we go now it's kind of hard to use sometimes those uh, buttons and also I, I don't recommend using those buttons especially the power button because some people they always press too hard using the power button so they end up breaking their switch uh, power switch button so this type of uh, this type of recovery system has a touch function so from this menu you can uh, scroll up and you can scroll down you will see this icon that looks like an envelope this one envelope going up this one envelope going down it's it's an arrow icon but it looks like an envelope to me that's why I call it envelope now from the right side you will see a left icon left image it means it's a select button or action button there you go now on on the left side this one it shows like a u-turn uh, sign it's not a u-turn sign it means a return or back button so whatever screen you are in you can all you can always go back to the main uh, screen by pressing this return button there you go now we're inside the <coughs> uh, main menu if you try to see whatever information you have here on 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 the on this area you will see the very important information of your tablet just in case you break you so break or you hard break your tablet you will need this information which is the cpu uuid it means cpu id and there's like a 16 digits on it so you need to make sure you have a backup copy of that digits so just in case you so break or your heart you hard break your tablet this is the only way for you to revive your tablet from being so break from being hard break from being dead okay let's start uh doing uh let's start uh uh, erasing your personal data that you have saved on your tablet let's uh, scroll down to the uh, uh, mount and storage all right from this mount and storage window you will see mount system mount data mount catcher uh, mount SD card so you need to make sure that you had mounted all of those so let's start to mount system there you go now it's mounted then let's mount data all right let's mount uh, Plex ROM okay let's mount SD card you need to make sure that you had mounted all of that and then let's start formatting the SD card format SD card okay let's format 
Black Rome. All right, let's format Kache. Okay, let's format data. All right, let's format system. All right, now we have mounted every step and we have formatted every step that I just said a while ago. So let's go back to the main menu. And now since we wipe the the whole thing, since we format the whole thing, we are ready to flash a new custom ROM. Some ROMs they require you to delete your personal data you have saved on your tablet. Some ROMs you don't really need to wipe the whole information or the whole personal data you have uh, save on your tablet you don't have to delete your photo feature video text file your system settings your uh, video games uh, data you don't have to delete all of those you just need to just go to the main menu and then go to the wipe uh, menu and then wipe the wipe data back to the reset wipe cache wipe dolby cache wipe battery status and then that's it then after that you can just go to the main menu and uh, you choose install from zip file but before you do we do that we have to insert the SD card <clears throat> all right there you go so we have to uh, from the main menu we have to scroll to install from zip uh, file and then the second window will 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 show like apply update from zip file so the first selected item you just need to select that one which is choose the choose zip file from SD card okay now if you have a zip file already uh, installed on your uh, I mean save on your micro SD card you should see those files now I have a flex river ROM and an extra system application for flex river and a kernel uh, and a kernel for this type of ROM and for this type of bootloader so we need to flash the the operate the flex river ROM first and then the system the extra system application and the last one is the kernel so let's plus the ICS flex reaper ROM this thing should take uh, like a minute or two so I just wanna warn everybody once you try to do this kind of modification on your tablet you do this at your own risk and I cannot be held liable if you so break or hard break your tablet especially those developers who develop this type of modification whether you flash a new custom ROM new bootloader new kernel whatever set you flash on your tablet it's not my fault and it's not the XDA developer developers Paul, you do this at your own risk. You cannot blame nobody but yourself if you so break and hard break your tablet. The XDA developers I are very kind. They give us this kind of modification for our tablet. They never charge us for any penny just to use it. But we or we or we they already warn us you do this at your own risk they don't they don't really give you any support if you so break or hard break your tablet so now uh we had plus the uh 
Flex Free Reaper ROM and we're still in this inside the apply update from zip file then let's let's just choose choose zip file from SD card okay then the next file we need to uh, the next zip file that we need to uh, flash is the uh, Flex Reaper uh, system application okay this thing should take only few seconds so just like what I'm saying right a uh, while ago once you do this you only do this at your own risk you do this at your own risk you cannot blame nobody but yourself if you so break and heartbreak your tablet okay now we have uh, flashed the extra system application for the Plex Reaper before booting up to the operating system I have to flash the kernel for this type of bootloader and for this type of ROM so we're gonna choose zip file from SD card again and then scroll down to my uh, kernel which is ECT20 okay let's uh, flash it it should take just few seconds and then after this we're gonna reboot the system all right now it's done we have to go back to the main menu and then go to power menu and then reboot so this process will take maybe a minute or two it should it should start at any at any moment right now at the first boot when you install a new custom ROM it will take a minute or two or maybe three minutes but the next uh, reboot of your tablet it will just take less than a minute or maybe sometimes it's just gonna take 30 seconds you will see the uh, uh, set up a uh, process okay let's let's do that let's turn up the Wi-Fi okay and then it will ask you for the date and time and it will ask you to sign in and it will ask you uh, uh, location Google location and then the next one the, it will ask you to put your names and then the next one is a uh, Google services and then the last one you're done setting up your tablet okay from this uh, main uh, menu you will see your home screen and then it will it will uh, guide you what to do on your main desktop and then if you try to click the all application it will it will uh, it will teach you how to how to drag and drop those files to your main menu now as you can see the whole operating system work just like it should be we don't see any screen flickers we don't see any slowdown it works smoothly now if you flash a bad ROM corrupted ROM or you didn't follow the right procedures step and requirements that you need to do before flashing a ROM you will end up uh, stop breaking your tablet you will end up heartbreaking your tablet sometimes you will end up getting stuck to Acer logo sometimes you end up getting you end up going to Acer logo and then uh, booting up to Android boot screen but it's just gonna stay there and it's just gonna loop there forever you will not gonna be able to see this home uh, home screen now sometimes you get lucky you go you, you, you get to see the home screen but you will see a sign there like powering down or shutting down and it stay there forever and there's no way for you to recover your tablet so that's what I call it's a it's either a soap break or it's either a hard break it depends on how healthy it depends on how healthy the internal memory of your tablet so you really need to be careful when flashing any custom kernel, custom bootloader, custom recovery, custom ROMs. You should always read the latest update for instruction, steps, and procedures and requirements before you flash anything. And also you should always keep in mind you do this at your own risk.